Hi, and welcome to our first video advice article. I'm Karen Stoner from NittanyWeddings.com, and I'm here at Connections on Allen Street with Robert Steinbach, and we're going to talk today about figuring out tuxedos, men's formal wear, all of the pieces and things that go into it, the styles that go into it, something much better to show rather than to tell about. So. So what are you seeing as far as men's formal wear? Uh, we see, you know, we know weddings are mostly about brides. It's all about the bride, it's all about the dress, but there's another, usually a person in there too. Yeah. And they kind of got to be dressed too. There certainly is. For the most part, a tux consists of a, a jacket, a vest, a shirt, a tie, uh, either bow or long, and uh, of course, shoes as well. We have, you know, many jacket styles, and that basically what drives the different selections is the jacket style. Traditionally, black tuxedos have been the strong selling item uh, in tuxedos, but recently we've, we've seen a lot of trending towards gray. And then the other trend in the summer, especially, are tan tuxedos. Um, so those are the, some of the things that are going on with, with tuxedos this season. There are three different basic lapels in tuxedos. The notch lapel, that's probably the most popular lapel. Another lapel is the shawl lapel. The shawl is varied, you know, there's no break in the lapel at all. It's sort of smooth. And then the third important lapel is called the peak lapel. It's sort of a little bit like the notch, but there's a point. When you rent a tuxedo, you're gonna get the traditional tux shirt, okay? And um, the, they come in two varieties for the most part. The wing collar, which we can see here, exposes the side bend of the, of the tie. The, uh, the second kind of traditional shirting is the lay-down collar shirt. You know, most of the time in the past 10 years, I, I would say everybody you know, rented colored vests and colored ties. This kind of a look. The suppliers have gotten to the point where every black tux that they have, depending whether it's just worsted wool or a Super 120s wool or Super 140s wool, they have a vest in the same color to match it. Some of the new looks are the vests that have color backs. A lot of guys like to take off their jackets and in the past, every vest would have, if it was a light color, a white back. But now, this is the new color back vest where this is a lilac front. The back is colored as well, and it's a complementary fabric. And then they'll coordinate the uh, long tie with the back and the bow tie with the front. There is, there, you know, there is a back to an old school cummerbund thing. It's still, uh, you know, got some oomph. Now, if you, uh, if you wear a bow tie and you don't want the vest, uh, typically and traditionally, it, you, your other accessory is a cummerbund. Uh, this happens to be a dotted grouping, but uh, so the bow tie and the cummerbund match. It's a waistband. And um, tradition says that you have the pleats facing up to catch the crumbs. So that's a, uh, you don't want to turn it the other way or it won't catch the crumbs. You know, in a wedding, if you're getting everybody to look the same, you know, you sort of should have shoes as well. And we have a few different styles of shoes that are available. They have brown shoes, you know, to go with the tan tuxes. They just introduced, since gray has been so popular, we have a, a, a gray shoe as well. Uh, and we go from traditional tuck shoes to, you know, a little bit more oomph and pizzazz with a little bit of a pointy toe. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that the information that we've given you is, helps you out in your selection of your men's formal wear for your wedding. And for more information on tuxedos, on connections, on gowns, on decor, anything else you need to plan your wedding, feel free to visit NittanyWeddings.com.